Hey guys, this is Balu from Balu Prime and once again welcome you all back for an exciting tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you how to create this jelly cubes using soft body physics in Blender. So hope you guys will find the tutorial useful and by the end of this tutorial, if you have learned anything new from this, please click on that like button, do share this content and if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing my channel and support me. So further without any ado, let's start today's video. So here you can see I am using Blender 2.92, nice. So now in default scene, let's select this camera and light and delete them so first time we are using cube here without deleting it so select the cube let me place it here let me bring it here now press tab on the keyboard to enter edit mode right click add some subdivisions okay press again tab to exit edit mode now right click add this shade smooth okay fine so let's add some come to this modifier add modifier add subdivision surface okay so now it's looking good fine now let's add a ground plane so go to this add mesh select a plane now press s on the keyboard and increase the scaling so here let's add the soft body physics for this cube so select the cube come to this material sorry physics properties click on this soft body fine now as soon as we apply soft body if we play this you can see our cube will be not falling down so the reason for that is this goal option so we need to uncheck this goal so expand these edges so these are the properties that decide how much soft the body will be so here pull and push is 0.5 so with this default properties let's play this once again so Sorry, the cube is passing through the plane. So select the plane. We need to make this as colliding object. So select the plane, come to this physics properties and add collision. So now let's play this once again. So here you can see it is colliding with the surface, but it's not retaining its shape. So now let's make some changes in the properties of the edges. So bending, I will change to five. Now let's see this. So now you can see it's retaining its shape and looks like soft body. Fine. So let's rotate it a bit here like this. Okay. So now let's add another cube. So go to this add mesh cube. Let's place it above to this first cube. Now again press tab on the keyboard edit mode. Right click subdivide 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 right click shade smooth now you can come to this modify properties add modify and add this subdivision surface okay so let's add soft body for this cube also so being selected this cube come to this physics properties add soft body now uncheck this goal edges let's make the bending 5 so pull push and bending are same as the properties of this first cube also so now let's play this once again so so here you can see both the cubes are soft bodies but they are not colliding with each other so let's add some collision properties for this also for those both cubes so select the first cube again come to this physics properties add collision select the second cube add collision and also let's enable this stiffness and self collision for both fine so now let's play this once again so you can see these both cubes are colliding with each other now so once you are happy with this output we can bake this simulation so in order to bake the simulation select any of the cube scroll up where you find this cache option expand this cache so here you can see simulation will be starting from 1 to 250. So here you can select till how many frames you want that simulation. So here I will leave this to 250 only. So after that click on this bake all dynamics or else you can click on this bake. So I will simply click on this bake all dynamics. So here you can see our baking is done. Nice. So now let's add some materials onto this ground plane and for this cube also let's give some jelly look for these cubes and let's add a wood texture onto this plane so for that let's move on to this render viewport click on this render viewport so currently the scene is looking dark because there is no light in the scene 
here you can use either hdr image to light up the scene or else you can use sunlight so here i will be using the sunlight so go to this add come to this light options select this sun so press r on the keyboard and let's rotate the angle of fall of the sunlight fine so now select this sunlight once again let's come to this light properties object properties and strength i will increase this to five or else let me four only would good okay fine now let's add wood texture onto this ground plane so select the ground plane come to this material properties click on this material properties add new material okay now click on this shading tab so we got this principal shader so before going further let's enable node wrangler so go to this edit preferences click on this add-ons and search for node so by default this will be unchecked enable this node wrangler and save those preferences and close that so select this principal shader and press ctrl plus a t to add that node so here we will get an option to add texture so let me select an texture here so here we got this wood texture now let's give these cubes a jelly look so select the cube come to this material properties add new material so in the settings of this let's reduce the roughness to zero and transmission increase it to one and base color i'll change this to green okay so that we'll get this jelly kind of look now select this second cube come to this material properties add new material so here i will change this base color to red roughness zero and transmission all the way to one so here we got this jelly look on the cubes so let's move back to layout so here you can see we are not having that look here so let's add an hdr image so come to this world properties color environment texture here i will be adding an hdr image let's me open it okay so now you can see we are having that jelly look on the cubes okay so come to this output properties let me enable ambient occlusion let me increase the distance to 2.5 or else let me increase this to 3 so enable the screen space where is the screen space reflections and refractions fine come to this film options enable transparent so that we'll get transparent background okay so now let's add camera in the scene so go to this add camera Control alt 0 now press n on the keyboard come to this view options and enable camera to view so now we can set the position and angle of the camera so once the position is set so in render properties you can use either cycles or ev so if you are using cycles make sure to enable this gpu if your device has dedicated gpu but the time rendering time will be very much high when compared to ev so for this tutorial i will be using this ev only so let me switch back to this ev you can see the difference between ev and cycle cycles will be much better but we need to spend much more time on rendering so for this i think this is good now come to this output properties so the default resolution will be full hd enable this render region crop to render region so frame start and end 1 to 250 okay so now let me select the output folder so i have selected an output folder nice so file you can use either jpeg png if you want to render direct video you can select this mpeg video format so let me show you this only so let me select this mpeg video and so once the video format is selected come to this render and click on this render animation so in this way we can create these jelly cubes using soft body physics in blender easily so hope you guys have learned something new from this tutorial if you have learned anything new please like share and subscribe my channel to support me so we'll meet in the next video until then signing off take care bye